Welcome back to TK Tennis. So today we should have what's a popular poly blend review between Toro Line Super Toro going into the mains and then using Wasabi X in the crosses. Uh, this seems to be a very popular combination uh, by YouTube creators and other people. And in case you didn't know sort of the theory, what Toro Line is thinking, um, they have a lot of their blend combinations that they recommend, such as K-Pop and K-Pro, where they recommend using a shaped poly in your main strings and using a round poly like Wasabi X in your cross strings. And the thinking there is that when you're hitting a ball with topspin on your ground strokes or really any shot, the main strings are responsible for imparting most of the spin on the ball. They're the ones that are grabbing the ball. And having a shaped poly is supposed to get you more spin. And then using a round poly in your cross strings should slide across that shaped poly in the cross strings to get you exceptional snapback. So I believe that's the thinking that Toraline has in a lot of their combinations or their blends using a shaped poly than a round poly. And let's go into the review and see if that holds true and if I agree with that general assessment or thinking. So the first thing you'll notice when you see this B-roll is you'll notice that I'm actually not using that combination in this particular hitting session. Uh, this is using Wasabi, but make no mistake about it, this is the Super Toro and Wasabi X blend review. I just happen not to have great footage from from that combination. So going into the attributes, let's review that. Um, the control aspect of this combination is excellent. Like any really good polyester string, you're pretty much gonna have excellent control, or you should, and that's the whole reason we all use polys, right? Poly, good polyester strings are gonna have excellent control, and this is no different in this combination. On spin, the Super Toro works well in spin. It's not a, you know, as people would call it, a spin monster, or let's say like Hyper G, Zelenko Hyper G, or even Wasabi. So the spin was very good. And going along with spin, you sort of have snapback. Um, do the strings move out of place? Do they always return into place after each shot? Snapback, Toraline is really well, Toraline is well known for having great snapback and very slick strings, so the strings return into their normal position. And it's true. Uh, there's no doubt about it. These strings snap back into position every time. Very reliable, which helps with control. Going into the power category, probably the least important category when it comes to a good polyester string is, is power. Um, this gets a normal level of power on a polyester string. I don't make too much of a big deal about power. Uh, if you're using a good multi-filament or a gut, you're probably gonna get a high rating in the power cat category. But for a polyester string, you rarely see polyester strings having much noticeable difference in the power category. You will have some that might have low power, um, but I don't, haven't used any particularly that says that string is a lot more powerful than something else. So most of my poly reviews probably are going to get a normal in the power category. Durability is high. Um, strings that are Good performing polyester strings always last me about six to eight hours. This was no difference between seven and eight hours. And if it gets seven or eight hours of a hitting for me, I always give it a high in terms of durability rating. Um, I've had strings, let's say restring sync, that has a low durability rating. I broke the sync within four hours. So I would think durability on, let's say a restring sync is very low. And probably the most important category would be feel. Um, and this was a little confusing. I had to use many, I used this combination for at least 15 to 20 hours of hitting time. I was sort of confused. I have not been hitting very well. I've been testing a lot of strings and I expected this combination of blend to be exceptional because I've heard so many great things about it. But I wasn't necessarily feeling like this is such an incredible combination. It's very good. But it was sort of muted. Um, muted and crisp are the two attributes I, that, to me, define this combination. Um, the crisp being a very positive attribute. I do like a crisp but responsive string. Um, but I don't necessarily love it to be muted. Um, I would rather have it to be crisp and lively versus crisp and muted. So that's why I labeled it uh, as a muted. And the overall grade, because of it, while it's an excellent combination, 
does not get an A. It certainly does not get an A+. Plus, and it's an A-. minus. It just felt a little dead to me. Um, and I want to feel a little bit more. So while I had really high hopes for this blend, um, sadly, it just by a little bit, it let me down. That's not to say that other people won't love this combination. Again, it's an A- minus rated blend combination. But if you ask me, would I rather use a full bed of Super Toro versus this blend? The answer is yes. I'd rather have a full bed of Super Toro versus this blend. So in summary, you know, this Wasabi X in the crosses paired really well with the Super Toro. But I was hoping for a little bit more liveliness and plushness and a more responsive feel. And an A- is a great rating. But I was hoping it was going to get an A or an A+. Plus, um, and it certainly does not. Um, that's not to say many players won't enjoy this setup. It just fell a little short in my book. So would I use it again? Yes. Um, I wouldn't be excited to use it again. And it's certainly not a top favorite. So I would only use it again if I didn't have better options to use uh, immediately. So if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'm pretty active in the comments. If you have any questions about this or you want me to expand upon it, I'm happy to do so. I'm still trying to grow the channel, so if you can like and subscribe, that would be wonderful, and I appreciate any and all support. And if you have any suggestions on how I can improve this format or if you like this format of string reviews, um, any confirmation that this is the right way to do it is helpful. So thanks very much, and I will see you in the next ACE.